brilliant angel? Is she a doll? <sighs> Don't scare me like that! Came out of that thing. What is this place? It's full of plants. <coughs> Nana, the white shadow is out there. <coughs> I don't like the shadow. What if it comes inside me? Nana, ah, Kuro, send me out of the way. That man, Blanca. Are you all right? Uh, y yes, sir. Um, is Blanca that girl's name? That girl is an angel. An angel plus Sanma, to be precise. Uh... What? What a weird thing to say. There was something weird in that room, too. What the heck was it? Oh, allow me to explain. Come with me. There's another track here. This one leads to Astar. We're in a tunnel that was made under the capital a long time ago. Only a small part of it is still usable. We're here. This is the Austrian National Research Facility. What? We're already inside Astar? That's right. Huh? You're... Oh! It's her. Oh! The lady that gave us apples! You work at this research facility? So that's why I felt like I'd met her before. Marco, will you make us some tea? Yes, sir! So, you met Lyra? She underwent anima implantation surgery at her own request. I can also use surgery to remove an anima and make a plus anima into a normal human. Oh. Becoming a plus anima is not something children wish for. Their bodies unconsciously draw in the anima to survive. They call it for help, and under grave circumstances, the anima responds to that and they become a plus anima. Ah! Nana! The anima marking is a scar, but I can remove it with surgery. Anima often disappear when the child reaches adulthood. It would seem that once the anima's help is no longer needed, it leaves the body. There's no need to wait until you're an adult, though. There's no reason to prolong your suffering. Instead of depending on the anima, we at the research facility can help you. You can live like normal children. You say that, but what exactly would you do for us? I hear you're good with a needle, Nana. Yes? In that case, we'll help you become an apprentice to a good seamstress. I could be a seamstress? Like a normal girl? And I wouldn't have to be afraid of them finding out I'm a plus anima? If there's someone you can't be with because you're a plus anima, you may be able to see them again. You are Kimundra. They are people that take pride in having an anima. You can never throw away your anima, so I won't recommend it for you. What will you do? I can do the operation, but the decision is yours to make. Uh... Hmm... Uh... Nana! You should do what will make you happy, Nana. Right? How's the water? When you're all clean, put on this surgical gown, okay? Oh! Y yes ma'am! Don't worry, they put you to sleep during the operation, it won't hurt. <laughs> Is it happier not to have an anima? I really wouldn't know. I've never not had one. If you come this way, I'll prepare the anesthesia. Oh, yes ma'am! Is something the matter? Um... Well, I was thinking since it's the last time, I want to say goodbye to my anima. Oh. Beautiful bat wings, bat ears. This is goodbye. Still, it's a little sad. I guess because you helped me so much. And if I didn't have an anima, I wouldn't have met Kuro or Husky or Summary. Nana? Ah! I'm not gonna have the surgery! I'm fine like this! Huh? I mean, it's true, isn't it? Even with an anima, I'm happy! No, I'm happy because I have an anima! If my anima is going to disappear when I grow up, I'll wait until then! I'm sure it won't be hard to wait! Oh no, what about Husky? Did he already have the surgery? Husky! Husky! What? Stop yelling people's names all over the place! 
It's embarrassing! Husky! Ugh! I didn't go through with the surgery! What about you, Husky? Oh, me either. I thought about it a little and gave it up right away. I'm fine, just the way I am. What about Kuro and Samurai? They never wanted to remove their anima to begin with. They're probably in the waiting room. That's right! If the four of us are together, it won't be hard to wait! Ah, I'm still in the surgical gown! I'm not wearing underwear! Hmm? 